Welcome back to another video. In this video, we wanted to go over with you three camp chairs that we've used, which one we think is the best for us, what might be the best for you. I think we found the worst camp chair. The one that we really don't like. The one that we really don't like, which I thought we would actually really like. And it might actually, be a hot take. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just one of those things that was like, I wanted it to be really good because of the space saving aspect of it but I don't think that's gonna be the case. So let's break these out and show ya. All right, first one that we've got are the front runner chairs. They're up front here, as you can see. It doesn't really take up too much room. Super easy to carry, mm -hmm. super lightweight, not bad at all. Here's the second one, and this is the click chair. And obviously, as you can see, look how small that is. So that's this one. And then of course you have the Old Faithful that you've seen us use all the time, the Kelty Double Love Seat Low Chair. By far the biggest one we have. Yep. Front runner chairs, super like compact, which is great. I think a lot of people love these. So you just un-Velcro. Oh, am I doing it with you? I mean, you could. Okay, sounds good. I mean, I can do it by myself. It's fine. I'm an independent woman. <laughs> so then the bottom one. And then most of the time you should be able to pull it up like so. I do it a little differently. I open the things first. Yep. So and then you pretty much just unclamp. Why do I always have issues? <laughs> I, I really do with this one. I know. It's I do it easy. Me. Oh, it's, yeah, there, there we go. go. And then fold the yep. back up. Yep. So there you go. It folds like a wheelchair does. I think that's why it's easier for me. Probably, yeah. <laughs> so, but like these are really nice. They have like a nice form fitting factor to them. They're nice and wide too. Yeah. You have lots of room. Yeah, you have lots of room on these. Um, it's got some great back support. Mm -hmm. um, so for reference, 5'1", 5'5", yep. five, five. sit pretty comfortably even with our feet down on the ground. Yeah, I can actually touch the floor, yeah. which is great. It's a lot of... Like. Yeah, <laughs> so these are great for that. Um, also, pockets on the side. Yeah, um, that still have still stuff have in some them. Garbage in here. Yep, that's good. So I've got one and for like I know our Yetis fit on the one side. Yeah, and then you've got your Velcro pocket on the other side, and then you also have a small little pocket, probably for like a cell phone. Probably. If you have an iPhone Max, like <laughs> I do, it doesn't fit anywhere. It does. I hope that it, one does fit. It does. Yeah. Yep. Most of the time my phone doesn't fit most places, but these are great for if like we know we're going on a trip and we have a lot of stuff, we'll pack these because mm -hmm. they can just fold up and slip in. So these are great. I would say the only con for me is that I want to sit lower to the ground so I can stretch my legs out a little bit more. So that's for me at least, I would say, I want to be able to sit lower so I can stretch my legs out a little bit more mm -hmm. and kind of have like my head back a yeah. little bit. So, but these have like great back support when it comes to it. For the second chair, we only have one of these. Yep. Because they're expensive and we weren't sure how we were going to like it. And this is the click chair. This guy right here, he's small and compact. It's great. He's not comfortable at all. So, the way you want to do this is you undo the Velcro. And then, by the way, this thing like has hurt both of us. Yeah. So now it like springs itself out and then watch out because then it's going to click. Ow. <laughs> Every time. Every time. I, I know, I'm probably just dumb. But then with this, they have like these metal things and you pull it out, right? So you hear it click once. And then you got, I, it's probably cause it's not broken, but I feel like I'm, I'm a pretty strong individual. And like you really like have to pull this thing to get the second one done. And it's kind of that way all around other than for the bottom which is fine because it's usually just one click and they have these 
like small pull tabs on here as well too but these things make it even harder so like here's the other back so here's one click it's usually that second click i just Want some help? yep pull okay. all right yeah <laughs> And it's probably because it's not broken, but like I don't feel like I should have to fight a camshare. And if you are one person, especially if you are a smaller female, this is probably not going to be the best chair to get with in beginning. So these remind me of the Helinox chairs, which is for backpack camping most of the time. We grabbed that because we have one of those and this. And the Helinox chair is so much easier and better. But then you pop this thing down and then because of the angle of it, I think it makes it uncomfortable because if this was slightly angled down more and this up a little bit more, I don't feel like it would cradle you as hard. Mm -hmm. So now when you go to sit in it, like it's kind of comfortable, but like for reference now, I'm like 178 pounds and like I said, 5'5". Five, five and like it's not very comfortable like as in like my lower back is already hurting in general and for me it doesn't cut into like my thighs as much but like i just don't feel like there's any support and i feel like when i go to get out of it it's actually kind of scary because it tilts forward mm -hmm. a lot more because it has the four pegs so had high hopes for it not a fan of it at all and like even if you put your arms down on the side here like it's kind of uncomfortable with how like short i guess like you could say i am like right there it's like not comfortable it's kind of weird because it's got like these pockets on the side too which is fine but then it goes all the way under. it always goes all the way under but then anything that you put in there is going to be against your butt or lower back so was really happy about these excited but like honestly i don't think it's worth the hype at all mm -mm. Like, I really think it's because of the angle that it has it. It, it like definitely is a scoop and it like cuts off the circulation underneath my legs. Um, and it is not fun. Like I, I totally feel like I'm falling backwards in this thing. Yeah. Like I want to like sit like this in it. Yeah. But like that defeats it's not the comfortable. purpose. Yeah. Yeah. It's really strange. And, and it definitely, it even squeezes my hips. Yeah. Like quite a bit. Yeah. And so she's 5'1", like we said, and yeah. 140 pounds. Yeah. So like we're not massive people. <laughs> no, we're but like normal average size. Yeah. Yeah. But unfortunately, I think for the angle that this thing sits at and the way that, yeah, see? <laughs> I hate <laughs> this thing so much. <laughs> and I think it's because of the way that they have these legs because in a Helinox, there's two front ones that shoot out this way, but there's a bar and a bar in the back too where it shoots out. Yeah. But when it comes to like this four prong system, it definitely doesn't seem as sturdy. Mm -mm. Oh, no good. Not our not our favorite. We'll we'll be returning it. Yeah, we will be. And then the teardown process is not easy either. I've smashed my finger on it a couple of times now. I'm more familiar with it, but the things fly back. Yeah. Yeah, because it is those push pins. Yeah. Yeah. So you push in all the push pins, like yep. you do, and then push it all in, and then you've got the one big click in the middle Yep. that releases all of it. Well, don't so pinch this, your fingers. So this little guy right here. Yeah. And then you, yeah, you push that in, then it releases it and it tucks and all of these. Don't pinch your fingers because that's what I did the first yeah, time. Yeah, but then you've got to also at the same time. You got to like make get sure this, this in the goes middle. In. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's great for space saving and if, and if you're not going to use a camp chair a lot. There you go. There we go. And if you don't use a camp chair a lot and it's not like a big priority to you, then yeah, I mean, go for it. It's, it's a great chair for space saving, but yeah. like for camping, what we do, we want to sit down and relax. Boo. <laughs> Old Faithful. The Kelty low seat two person chair. Mm -hmm. It is big. It is bulky. It is not light. <laughs> yeah. 
not at all but it does this and, and then you're done <laughs> yeah so we probably love this one the most <laughs> yeah because for one i can that, do this <laughs> all the time but also like it gives us that that neck and head it's like lean back it's much higher yeah. yeah and then like i can scoot down and like throw my legs out too and we have cup holders that fit our yetis mm -hmm. our phones also fit in this too we've thought about getting the three-person one for, for fancy <laughs> so but we've had this now two three years three years now yeah. yeah because we had it with the forerunner and all the other stuff so yeah at least three to four years yeah yeah mm -hmm. so it's definitely faded yeah well used yep yeah it, it's the the true and tried it's the old faithful we always come back to we do honestly it's it's the one that we keep coming back to mm -hmm. it's the most comfortable because for us when we're doing these things and we're camping we're coming out to enjoy it and relax and we have a chair like this it's worth the space and especially in a small space like this in the van you'll make it work if it's something that absolutely just makes camping or adventuring so much better for yourself absolutely yeah. and it's super easy to pack away mm -hmm. watch how quick it breaks down yeah oh yeah there we go <laughs> it's one of the two ways yeah and it also does actually come with a with wrap. a wrap too we've just had it for so long now we don't use the wrap um but it does make for like a great dog bed and stuff for them to lay on we're planning on getting a newer one we mm -hmm. just don't know if we're gonna get the three-person one or keep with the two-person one but when we do we'll keep the the actual tarp i guess you could say or it's just it's like it's a like cover a, it's a cover it's yeah a cover. It, like the bottom sits in it and then it wraps yeah. around the sides yeah it yeah. makes it a little bit cleaner because the only thing is is like you do get a lot of dirt in yeah. these but to say the least it's probably honestly the best chair if anything that's our favorite for th sure that's been the best for us mm -hmm. in our van experiences and honestly it's been through rain and snow lots everything, of everything sun yeah and honestly we've not had a tear in it we've had chancy in it you know i mean with her nails and stuff still mm -hmm. it's honestly been the best here's all three set up mm -hmm obviously price wise they're very different this guy's running around 120 right now i think these are pretty much a hundred a piece if not the clicks actually probably a little bit more yeah i think the clicks a little more yeah we got it on sale too yeah we got it on sale yeah. for about 80 bucks but like you have to buy two of these anyway mm -hmm. 80 bucks 160 130 200 yeah i mean kind of like for money this is probably like the budget winner if anything yeah but this is like i feel like goldilocks and the three bears absolutely yeah like <laughs> which one do you want to pick mm -hmm. but if anything we would probably obviously we'll always pick our kelty first the front runner and never a click no ever so if you guys have any recommendations of other chairs obviously we know like the walmart ones where they're just pretty much a stick like and like you just chairs. open them up yeah we've yeah. we've used those in the past we've just decided to get rid of those in general but if there's other chairs that you guys want us to try or like compare to what we had leave them down in the comments below that way we can go over them with you hope this helped you guys get an idea of kind of maybe what works best for you and kind of how things break down and what they look like when they're in use mm -hmm. and we will see you guys on the next one